Now, the sunflower technique is simple and effective, but not really flexible. Because sometimes we'd like to sample the sound from a bus or from a specific point in the audio signal chain and with the sunflower this is not really possible as we can only sample from the master outs. Also maybe sometimes we'd like to sample from a different computer and once again this is not possible with sunflower as it works only if you are recording from an application uh, on the same computer. Auto Sample 2 solves this problem by offering a second mode uh, the record from network mode where it can connect to an audio net send uh, uh, plugin instance running on a networking computer and record audio from it. This means that it can connect over the internet but also over the local network of your office and of course also within a single Mac. So let's see how we can use this new feature to quickly auto sample from a software host. We will keep using logic for this example we go back to the ES2. Again, we are sampling the, the default preset. We instantiate an audio net send plugin. It's here. It's uh, one of the uh, free plugins available in OS X. And we want uh, basically uh, the IU net send plugin to send the audio to our application uh, using floating points. So we have a perfect uh, sound, no degradation. We will call this uh, plugin logic so we can recognize it. And then we have nothing else to do here with uh, logic. We start auto sampler. And in auto sampler, now we set uh, the name. We are going to sample again from C2 to C4, uh, let's say. Every six notes, uh, one velocity level, all the formats. And this time we are not recording from the TCNIR uh, interface. We are recording from network audio. So I click this button. And now I'm opening the audio network panel from Auto Center. And I have basically to say to Auto Center where it should get the audio from. So we are creating a new entry because it's totally empty. We call this logic on my Mac. Then I have to supply the uh, internet address of this plugin instance. An internet address is localhost because uh, it's my own computer and localhost means exactly that, my own computer. There is no password as we didn't use any password here too. We click OK. Now we have this entry. We select the host and we connect to it. You can see here that we have a status and it's uh, uh, reporting that it's connected. The same here. We can now <coughs> try playing some notes. I'm opening the advanced mode. So I have the keyboard mode in play mode. I'm enabling MIDI through. I'm enabling monitoring so we can hear what, what's going on. And I can play the notes. So now Auto Sampler 2 is sending the MIDI events to the ISC MIDI driver to Logic, the ES2 plays, and it's sending the audio to the normal Logic output, but we don't care about that uh, because we are tapping the, the audio signal uh, from this uh, IUNET send plugin instance, which is connected to Auto Center, to our uh, network connection, and Auto Center 2 is getting the audio from this plugin. Now we click start. We close uh, the application once again. And that's it, we just built our instrument using the uh, Record From Network uh, feature. This feature is especially powerful as you can sample from a second Mac in this next room, or from a Mac at your friend's studio over the internet, provided of course you have a reliable connection. By now you should have very clear how powerful, creative and simple to use Auto Center is 
but I want to talk about some of its potential applications. In studio, the old way of using hardware synthesizers through audio MIDI cables is getting more and more anachronistic, as you need a lot of inputs, a lot of MIDI ports, and synthesizers are limited in polyphony and effects anyway. What you'd really like is a software version of your synthesizers, but as you can imagine, that's not really going to happen. With AutoSampler, you have a fantastic way to pluginize your sounds so that you can use them in a modern way. You need a new sound, you just create a new track, load your patch into your sampler, and keep doing music without wasting time. Or maybe you play live and you are tired of bringing all those racks and keyboards around. Well, with AutoSampler and an application like Apple Mainstage, you have the best possible setup as you can sample and use your best hardware sounds and play them from a laptop. Or maybe you are creative, you want to create your own sounds, layer several sound sources, use some high-end hardware processor and create your own library. And well, AutoSampler is perfect for that too, as you can connect it to your mixer output, mix and process as many sound sources as you want, and AutoSample that mix to get a massive sound into your signature sampler presets.